Three of the Cavalier posts tonight. Uh, Dakota, let's start with you a little bit. Uh, first double figure game as a Cavalier. That had to feel pretty good. Yeah, um, I know I had to be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, my team has been telling me all the time in practice, be more aggressive. It helps the team out. Um, after you start getting like more aggressive, we'll talk to Dumble. You can kick it out, get the cars flowing and stuff. So it uh, feels good. You guys ran some nice back picks, though, that got you open down on the low block in a number of sets. Uh, yeah, uh, we run that uh, little play uh, to get the big man going. Um, a lot of the bigs don't really, they don't know what to do usually with the... <laughs> McKinney got a little chance to roam both ends of the floor. Uh, he had one nice swat in particular. Uh, you put a little more emphasis on the defense here for yourself? Yeah, uh, coming into the year, I really wasn't like defensively like inclined or like because at my high school we played a lot of zones, so playing man defense is kind of foreign to me. So that's one thing I like take pride in and practice and really try to like set the tone in the games. What are some of the the I don't want to call them fundamentals necessarily, but the building blocks that you've had to learn in making that shift to man to man defense? Um, consistently keeping my hands out and up and like my feet pointing in the right directions where I want my defender to go. Yeah, the footwork's <laughs> radically different, isn't it? Yeah, very different. I'm, not, I'm moving. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, the, the senior of the three here, and uh, you got a chance to get a little bit of the scoring touch going in the second half tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it, was, it was great to get a chance to go in and you know, close out this game. Tell me a little bit. Do you guys go against one another in practice, and, and how do you learn, and, and what information do you share with each other when you work? Yeah, so uh, we're always going against each other every day in practice, uh, competing um, under the, the guidance of Coach Barry Adams. Uh, he's been great for the for the program and for the post especially. Um, we have we always share whatever information and tips we can for each other when we notice something that we're doing wrong or something that you know something we can just improve on. I'm gonna let you do a little evaluate and hear two new guys to the program: one a junior, one a freshman. Where have you seen changes in development in these guys as you've continued to practice against them? Uh, definitely intensity. Um, with Mikhail coming in, the defense has definitely improved since the beginning of the year. Uh, been really impressive. He's always aggressive, pushing us, pushing himself. Uh, Dakota, he's he's adapted. Um, you know, when we played in open gyms, he liked shooting that three ball and stuff, but he's become a really valuable post player for Oh, so we finally got you on the block where you belong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a little bit from each of you as we wrap up here. What do you feel the team needs to work on? You're getting ready to turn the calendar to get back to conference play. Where are some of the big areas for improvement as you get ready for that? Um, I feel like uh, what we should work on is closing out games. Uh, we've had a couple games slip away from us at the end. Uh, we have a good, good lead and we just can't finish it out. But I feel like after this, uh, get a little practice and finish in uh, big games like this with big leads. Uh, help us in the long run against uh, other teams in the GNAC. Yeah, just mainly consistency and just finish out games. Just staying on the gas. <clears throat> There's been a couple games where we <coughs> set our foot off the gas and we just let it off for us way too much and other teams just get the, the better hand of us. But I think now we've learned how to just put, put our foot on the gas and just stay, stay away from the break. <laughs> uh, I'd say continuing with defensive intensity. Um, you know, we're we're working hard in practice, doing defensive perfection drills, and making sure everything's right. So being in that help position and doing everything we can to keep them from scoring is going to be really helpful for us. Mm -hmm. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Brad. Uh, not necessarily real rusty, but a bit of a slow start tonight. But eventually, you guys asserted yourselves offensively, and I thought tightened things down defensively, made some better defensive stands in this win tonight. Well, we did, Todd, and, and I think um, you know just coming off the of final exams and and you know having about uh, I guess a nine day layoff. Uh, you know, you, you hope that uh, you know, guys can jump right in, but we we started the game with a three point play. Uh, and then we, I think we had three turnovers in our next four possessions, a little bit sloppy, um, but you know, we settled down and, and, um, you know, got into a nice rhythm and got a chance to play different people. And, you know, we, I really appreciate, you know, coach Aaron Muick from Trinity Western. He's a long time, uh, good friend, a long time coaching colleague, uh, coach Muick started, uh, restarted, uh, the men's basketball program at Warner Pacific college. Uh, back in the late 1990s uh, and did a fabulous job and, and just a fabulous uh, person and um, 
you know, so he agreed to come down and you know play him the night in a in a counter, and then you know, part of getting him to come down from Canada was uh, getting two games, and and uh, couldn't really couldn't find another team that was available to play, and so we agreed to play him the second night in an exhibition, which we'll do tomorrow night. But you know, very pleased to get get a nice solid win. You mentioned that sloppiness, but it really seemed as though it was from from an anxiousness standpoint rather than careless play. They just wanted to go, and eventually, once the cylinders fired off, you go in. I, I think that's a, that's a great point, and it was. I, you know, try, trying to make some plays in, in transition, and, and you know, we just didn't, you know, we turned it over. Um, but you know, we settled down in the second half. I think we had four turnovers, mm -hmm. you know, total, and that that's really good. And. You know, we got to play everybody tonight, and uh, everybody but uh, but Dana Hawkins scored. And but he got we, his first career shot. We, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, we we ran a couple of sets for him, trying to get him looks, and he had a couple of good looks. Um, but you know, he's uh, he's a kid that just has a huge upside, and uh, you know, we have some young younger players that we really really like, and uh, you know, really excited about. And it's fun for them to get an opportunity. You know, in these non-conference games, you know, and have them back to back, and then have a Christmas, you know, break is is uh, it's a good way for us to go in. You know, obviously we got to do it again tomorrow night. Good mix from your post tonight. Dakota Allen gets his first start, responds with his first double-figure game. <coughs> Mikhail Williams was solid. I think made some strong defensive plays, and Daniel Thiessen really blended in well with the guys he played with. Yeah, I was really really pleased with with our bigs tonight. Um, you know, we felt like we could get the ball inside, and you know, one of the exciting things for us is you know we shot uh, sixty-one and a half percent, so that means we're getting shots close to the hoop. And uh, you know, I thought we got some really good production. It's really great to see Dakota have a good game, and you know, Mikhail had eight rebounds. Um, you know, he's continued his progress, and we're just really excited about him and his future. Uh, he's a great, great young man, super coachable, works hard, has good energy in practice. Um, you know, it's for like for any freshman, there's a learning curve, and, and uh, you know, but now at this point in the season, where we've played ten games, you know, he's starting to feel confident and feel comfortable, and it's it's really exciting to see. Jarrett Gray had a comfortable 18 points to lead you <laughs> yeah. tonight. Uh, as you mentioned, started off with the drive and the foul, and I think that helped him kind of mm -hmm. find his shooting rhythm a little earlier than he has in some other games this year. Yeah, you know, we we uh, we called a couple of sets for him, and and. Uh, you know, he got to the basket and, you know, he's such a good player and he's so skilled and, you know, he's super smart and, you know, such a, such a joy and, and such a luxury to have a, you know, a player, a fifth year senior, he's a graduate student, uh, you know, helping the young guys. I and mean, he's been marvelous in practice, helping out our younger players and really asserting himself. That was not one of his strong points in the first few years, you know, for us, but, you know, he's really embraced that role this season and, uh, you know, I'm just super excited for him because I think he can be one of the best guards. In fact, I think he is one of the best guards in the GNAC, and I'm excited for him to continue to play at this high level because I think he really can. Well, and that leadership really in a situation where you need a leader to step up with the uh, configuration of your roster. You mentioned tomorrow, exhibition now for both teams. How does that affect playing time and minutes in the mix and some of the things you want to do strategically in your last tilt before you get back to conference play? Well, we addressed that with, with the players, that exact question. You know, we, we want to play, treat it like any other game, but we're, we're going to experiment with some different things that maybe we wouldn't normally, um, and you know, maybe some different rotations. Uh, you know, the goal is to get every, you know, all 13 players a chance on the court like we did tonight. But uh, you know, we'll, we'll work on some things that uh, I think, you know, it's a three o'clock game, so it's, you know, that's part of strategic, be like a practice, because that's our normal practice time, but also to get our guys, you know, they get to, you know, go on, go home for a few days for Christmas break, and so we actually have a few guys that have late night flights, and that's exciting for them, but, uh, you know, we'll work on some different things, and, and uh, you know, hopefully get a chance to play different combinations and, and be successful in that.